Hi, my name's Allison, and I'm from TechBoomers.com. Today, you'll learn how to use Facebook Chat. Facebook Chat is like Facebook's version of text messaging that many people do on their smartphones. It allows you to message friends and have them reply to you instantly. You can see which of your friends are using Facebook right now and what device they're on, either web or mobile. Here's what you'll learn in this tutorial. How to use Facebook Chat how to make a group chat, and how to turn chat off. Facebook chat is easy to use. On the right hand side, there is a menu that lists your friends who are online and some who aren't. If they have a green circle next to their name, it means that they are online. If it says web, it means they're on their computer. And if it says mobile, it means they're on their phone or tablet. If someone is offline, there will be nothing next to their name or a number in minutes of how long ago they were last online. If you can't seem to find a friend, there's a search box at the bottom. Just click it and then start typing your friend's name. As with most other search features on Facebook, the results will automatically be narrowed down as you type. To chat, simply click next to your friend's name and a new chat box will be opened where you can have a private conversation with your friend. Facebook chats are not shared publicly. Click the text box at the bottom of the chat window. Type what you want your message to be, and then press enter or return to send it. Here are some Facebook chat tips. Click in the blue header beside their name to minimize the chat window. A minimized conversation will blink dark blue if you have a new message. And a red flag next to the name of the person you're chatting with will tell you how many unread messages you have from that person. To tell if someone has read your message, you will see a check mark with the time next to it. This will let you know exactly when your message has been read. If nothing appears, the message is still unread. Click the wheel for more options relating to that particular conversation. You can send files or mute the conversation. If you click mute conversation, a pop-up window will appear. Here you can choose to not receive any notifications from that user for one hour until 8 a.m. or until you turn it back on. Click mute if you'd like. I'm going to click cancel. Your previous conversations are all saved for the next time that you open the window. If you hover your mouse over your friend's name, an underline will appear. By clicking on it, it will take you directly to their timeline. You can also create a Facebook group chat. A chat doesn't always have to be between only you and one other person. You can add as many people as you like to the conversation. Select the wheel to show the drop down menu. Click Add Friends to Chat. There is also Add Friends Shortcut button that does the same thing. This will bring up a search bar at the top of the chat window. Click it, then start typing in a friend's name. Facebook will narrow down your choices as you type until you find the friend that you want. Click their name to add them to the chat. Repeat this process for however many friends you want to add to the chat. If you change your mind, click the X next to a person's name to remove them from the chat. Once you've found all the friends you want to, click Done and another chat window will appear with all the members of your group conversation. To leave a group conversation, click the wheel again, then click Leave Conversation. A window will pop up letting you know that if you leave the conversation, you will no longer receive messages from the group and people will be able to see that you've left. Click Leave Conversation if you're sure that's what you want to do. Next, you'll learn how to share files via Facebook chat. If you have a document on your computer or a photo you want to privately share with someone on Facebook, you can do so by opening their chat window. Click on the wheel and select Add Files. A window will pop up that will allow you to search your computer for the file you wish to send. Click through your folders until you find the file that you want, and then click Open to share it in the chat. Added files will appear below the text input box. To remove them from the chat, click X next to any file. To turn off chat, click the wheel at the top of the chat window. Click Turn Off Chat. A pop-up window will appear asking who you'd like to turn off chat for. You can turn off chat for all friends, turn off chat for all friends except some, or turn off chat for only some friends. Click the dot next to whatever option you would like. If you only want to turn off chat for some friends, 
a bar will appear below the option. Type in the name of the friend or list you want to turn off chat for. When you're done, click OK. To turn chat back on for these friends, follow the same steps as before. Then, click X next to your friend's name. And then click OK to continue. And that's how easy it is to use Facebook chat. Try chatting up anyone you see online. If you are on YouTube and want to follow a step-by-step -step guide for this tutorial, click here. We have many other great tutorials on techboomers.com. Click here to learn even more about Facebook. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and happy sharing.